Okay, so now we're at the South Pavilion, second floor. This is our South Pavilion Imaging Core. We have chest imaging and IR mostly located here. There's some pediatric imaging as well. Uh, and GIG is down at the back. So this is our new x-ray fluoroscopy core. Uh, we do a lot of our inpatient x-rays here uh, in this room. Uh, down up here we have portable x-ray units lined up. Uh, additionally, we've got two fluoroscopy rooms. Uh, we'll check those out first. Um, so we've got two fluoroscopy units. Uh, a lot of the lumbar punctures and other fluoroscopy kind of procedures are done in one of the rooms. Um, and then additionally, we have a high volume of uh, GI studies, so all of the esophagrams, modified swallow studies with speech pathology, small bowel follows through, um, cystoscopies, you know, the whole spectrum of it. We do a lot of GU studies as well, um, a couple times a week. There's a uh, gynecology comes up and we do uh, histosalpingograms for infertility. Um, there's a large population uh, of those as well. Um, yeah, so full spectrum of, of fluoroscopy studies. Now we'll head into the reading room. We'll meet the legend himself, Dr. Brill. Uh, we'll chat with him before they have to go and do a study. Oh, and unfortunately he just left the building. But we do have Spencer here. Hello. Spencer's one of our first year residents. How are you? Uh, by way of Hartford, Connecticut. Yes. Um, how's the rotation been going? Uh, going really well so far. Awesome. Yeah, I've been with Dr. Burrell most of the time. He's a fantastic teacher. Yeah, um, lots of stories. Draws a lot of pictures, tells a lot mm -hmm. of stories. Uh, so it's been really fun. Awesome. Fun with him. Yeah. What have you, so what studies have you been looking at today? I see you've got a couple x-rays up. Uh, yeah, a lot of abdominal x-rays. So on the GIG rotation, you read all the plain film x-rays, you dictate all the ERCP studies. Yes. Um, and then you do all the fluoroscopy studies yourself. Yep. Right. Yeah, okay. yeah, so I, I, I was surprised, you know, how hands-on um, this rotation is. I'm doing all the floral studies, uh, right. esophagrams and hysterosalpingograms, our GI series, like a great variety. We mm -hmm. just did a cystogram, assessing the bladder. Um, so it's really a lot of different stuff. It's, it's awesome. cool to see uh, things in action when you're uh, taking the images live. So Definitely. it's really good. Cool. How's the, uh, you've been on a couple of the rotations now at Yale, you've been here a couple months. Ultrasound. Um, Ultrasound. How's the experience been and you just on I mean, in general? Yeah, so far so good. I mean, uh, I, I'm just, part of the reason I, I came here was just the, the way the culture seemed. Everyone mm -hmm. was uh, super friendly uh, during my interview and so far I've def definitely seen that to be true. Um, the residents, um, all seem really happy and uh, happy with their choice, happy with everything they're doing and the educational experience. And so far, I mean, I've had two months, but it definitely seems to be a, that's true. Awesome. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. We'll wait around a sec just so we can chat with Dr. Brill. Dr. Brill, hello, hello. Hello, hello. We're doing a video series for the applicants, just showing them around the body section. And so this is our stop at GIGU. Welcome. Hope you guys make a nice choice. Uh, I was a resident here before most of the folks in this room were born and uh, <laughs> lived here to see for many, many years. I'm probably the most senior person in the department. And I, if you're thinking of residency, I know it's a weird time to do it remotely, but the resident groups of Yale have historically been very close and historically ended up with wonderful jobs, both academic and private practice. There have been many interesting groups. There was a group years ago where all of the residents became chairs of major teaching hospitals. Matter of fact, the longest serving chairs in the United States of teaching hospitals are both former Yale residents who've been chairs of academic hospitals for over 20 years. No other university has that distinction. And the person in that group who did not become a chair became, became head of American mammography. And again, I, the residents, I've been very close with them over the years. One of the former residents married my niece, so now I'm his uncle. Uh, and I have nothing but high praise to, uh, to recommend consideration of Yale. The GI is a hands-on service, as is ultrasound, as is interventional radiology. And in terms of one-on-one -on -one patient contact, it's similar to mammography. So it's a good experience for the resident. It's a good experience for me to get to know the residents one-on-one. -on -one. 
and I think it's truly an enjoyable place to be. So it's always been a, a high academic place. Even the people that go in private practice go in in a significantly high quality private practice disposition. Yeah. Any last uh, yeah. comments? And well, last yeah. comments is that the, the, the Yellies who have left, like I say, they're they're in wonderful jobs, both private practice jobs with an academic bent and high power academic jobs. A lot their chairs all over the country. Like I say, the senior most chairs in academia. It's an interesting record. The, the two chairs in academia that are over 20 years as chiefs in academic departments are both ex Yellies. Great. Well, we won't take up any more of your time. Thank you guys so okay, much. Okay, I wish you guys good luck. Hopefully uh, you'll come check out Yale. Yes. Okay. Thanks. All right, so now we're going to leave the fluoroscopy area. We're going to head over to the Yale Physician Building and the Fitkin uh, Center where we do all the outpatient MRI scanning. Okay. So we're now leaving the South Pavilion of the main hospital and we're going across the street into the Fitkin building. This is where a lot of our outpatient centers are located. Uh, it's where we do a lot of our outpatient imaging. Okay, so uh, we're now at the MRI center in the Fitkin building. We've crossed over from York Street campus. Let's go take a look. All right, we're now entering zone three. So this is our Fitkin MRI center. We have three magnets down here. Uh, they're all lined up along the side of the wall. Um, there is a down patient waiting area. And actually the check-in for patients is down at the very end of the hall off to the right. Um, it's a nice check-in area waiting room for all the outpatients coming in. Uh, the Yale Physician Building is across the hall, which is where a lot of our outpatient clinics are done. So now we're going to head across the room here. We'll poke into the reading room and see who's there today. Hello. Hi. So this is our MR reading room. We have one, two, three, four, five, six workstations here. Additionally, down here, this is a workstation where we do a lot of the um, MR ultrasound integration for prostate biopsies uh, that the urology section does. Uh, so let's. Say a quick hello to some of our people. Hey, this is Ternai. He's one of our future chief residents. That's right. Um, how's things going? Things have been great so far. It's a busy service. It's a, we had a great number and breadth of MRs. So it's a fantastic learning experience. Awesome. Can you tell us about your experience being a resident here and uh, where you're from and how'd you got to Yale? Yeah, um, so it's been a solid uh, three years so far. It's two years, rising to three. Um, I originally went to Virginia Tech for med school. Uh, I was a biophysics major in college, so that's kind of what led me to radiology. Uh, and, you know, New Haven's been a great place, so fantastic run at uh, Yale so far. Any advice for applicants going through the season virtually this year? So. I think the best you can, try to get in touch with residents, try to see if you are going to feel at home or wherever you end up being. Um, I think whenever that happens, uh, you know, during the normal cycle or anything else, most important part is that you feel at home. So do whatever you can to make sure that happens virtually as well. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. And sitting next to him, we have the living MRI legend himself, Dr. Jeff Weinreb. Uh, maybe you can just say a quick hello to the applicants and talk about you know how you got to Yale and how your experience has been since you've been here. Okay, I'm a very uh, concrete thinker, so I got to Yale by car. Which, uh, <laughs> is that what you had? <laughs> you really want to know? Yeah. yeah. Okay. No, I, so great place to work. Residents have a great experience. I think they get really good training get along very well with them. They all end up getting great fellowships mm -hmm. and great jobs. Mm -hmm. What else do you need to know? Maybe you could talk about things that you're involved in locally or nationally, research that you're involved with, um, mm -hmm. things that applicants might you know, want to know about our MRI section. Well, I'm involved in a lot of things, um, both on the local level, national and international level. And, and um, 
a lot of them have to do with uh, MRI, so I'm very involved in uh, international efforts to improve uh, prostate MRI, um, which through the efforts of uh, something that I've been involved with has become a uh, move from something that was over years from research to something that's now become standard of care um, and it's just exploded. And uh, likewise with liver MRI and uh, a lot of other things. I'm very involved with um, uh, safety issues, quality and safety issues on a local level, national level, and international level. Um, most recently with issues uh, re revolving around uh, contrast agents, gadolinium contrast agents. Um, and uh, the good news I think for our residents is because uh, not only me, but uh, many other people in the department are involved in these activities. Uh, the residents benefit uh, from this because uh, in many of these cases, we've been at the forefront of um, of uh, new policies, quality and safety policies for uh, MRI and other things here at Yale. Now, I think most residents, in the end, even when they visit places, they end up making their decisions uh, based on two major things. So one is what they hear from other applicants, because everybody networks and talks and communicates on the internet, and also just a uh, sort of gut reaction. Um, and that's going to be a little challenging this year because uh, you, you know, you're not here in person. Um, so, good luck. The good news is radiology is a great field. It's going to get even better and better. And although Yale is a great place and New Haven is a wonderful place, no matter where you end up, you'll probably be happy in your job. All right. Well, thank you for your time. Okay, thank good. you. Pleasure. Well, we'll head back out. All right. There you have it. That's a tour of our body imaging section. We've uh, seen ultrasound. We went to CT, uh, fluoroscopy, and finish an MRI. So just a quick overview of the, how it works for the trainees. As a first year, you'll start off. You'll learn the basics of all kind of the modalities, going through uh, fluoroscopy, learning how to work the machine. You get a two weeks uh, hands-on scanning rotation, so you learn hands-on experience um, how to acquire the images, uh, and you learn the basics of CT one-on-one uh, -on -one with the attendings. So as you get further along in the residency, you get more and more responsibilities. We start doing more advanced uh, imaging modalities, um, and you start to incorporate it more together. And there you have it. If you have any questions, you know, please reach out to us. Otherwise, thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time.